Now I've taken out the uh, the beefy guy because I believe that if he assembles his combo, I'm not going to be blocking. Because <laughs> if I'm in a position where he's attacking me and I'm having to block, then I'm probably already dead uh, due to all my guys being massacred. Uh, th this hand, a little, uh, a little bit vulnerable to not drawing a land if that's if that's what's going to happen here. I'm gonna whip out the super acre claw murders now. I could obviously wait to see if I draw an answer to fumes bitter, but uh, oh man, he's got it again. Uh, I think I'm in a bit of trouble here. Uh, I need to draw land pretty fast, or like a hills. Well, I really want to draw a new hills spell bomb or something. I I obviously could have equipped my guy there. Uh, with the infiltration lens. But if he did that, I think he would just let it through, take one poison. Uh, and then he'll just start fume spittering and recurring right away. And then, you know, I'll I'll be messing around making my poison guys or whatever, but uh, I think it'd be really on the, the back foot as staying alive is concerned. He is also taking quite a while to think about this. Well, it looks like he's going to take one poison anyway. So now I get to make this guy. Uh, hopefully I'll draw a spell bomb. Oh, he doesn't seem to have drawn another land. Which is pretty interesting. Now, knowing that uh, I have this withstand death, I'm pretty tempted to equip the infiltration lens to the Icarclomer now. Because I really want him to use his Icar Clomer, uh, his Fumus Bitter on my Icar Clomer before he gets to start recurring it with uh, the Death Mantle. Presumably, he would like to trade something for the Moriok uh, Reaver. And Icar well. Actually, I'm not really sure. Oh, I see what he's doing here. He's uh, just preventing that damage and uh, getting that guy down. Which is basically the result I wanted. I really wanted his uh, fume spitter out of the picture before he can start death mantling things. Uh, he didn't even trade with the uh, Contagious Nim. So now I get to equip it with bladed pinions and start bashing him in the air. Hopefully. Uh, if he has like a skin render or something here, I'm in a world of pain. I'm also getting beaten up pretty efficiently by his uh, six power of guys there, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, a flesh allergy. I guess that's not the worst thing. Um, I guess what I'm going to do here is... I mean, I, I could just make Tumble Magnet and pass. But uh, I want to make this guy, since he is a three power in fact guy who love to wear some pinions. I can also, you know, make the. I can also just swing in and withstand death if he makes some blockers or such. Hmm. Not another fume spitter. That's not what I wanted to see. Again. You might be starting to think that there's not a lot of things I want to see out of him, which is pretty true. I'd much rather have uh, lots of blanks. 
but I uh, really didn't want to see fumes better because you know what happens when that guy starts wearing the death mantle I could swing and see what happens, but I don't think I want to do that because uh, after I make my guy, assume I, might, I make a guy and don't make Tumble Magnet, he can just arrest and kill me. I think I want to make Tangle Angler, uh, which will inflict him with one poison. And see what happens next turn. I guess this is one of those situations where, uh, you know, if he has a rest, then I'm uh, in quite a lot of trouble anyway. But it, Tangle Angler does make it a lot more difficult for him to attack me with things like Burrsmith. I mean, sure, um, he can then promptly death mantle his guys up, but then I can make Tumble Magnet and not get kicked in by it. Uh, I'd much rather him be resurrecting random beat sticks than murdering my team of po well <laughs> my team of hand of the praetor really indeed what to do here then He's obviously going to be able to reanimate his fume spitter. So I really wanna I'm gonna have to just steal this victory, I think. Assuming I get a victory of course. So I'm gonna equip this guy up to try and get in some poison with this guy. I'm gonna leave Tangle Angler back. Because he can um, block it with no problems with his reanimated fumes spitter. Uh, this will get a couple of poison counters on him. I then have uh, two options. I can make Tumble Magnet to tap down whatever he's making. And play Contagious in him next turn. You know, hopefully the hand would still be alive at that point to um, give, up, give him uh, another poison counter. Or I can make Contagious in him this turn. Which could be a could be a plan. I'm gonna see exactly what he does here and think about it some more while he's doing his thinking. I mean, he, he obviously could have completely prevented that poison damage by sacking his fume spitter right then and there. Uh, he obviously didn't do that because he wants to be able to do it again next turn, or the turn after, or even attack. I decided to go with this guy because if he decides to try and murder my my hand of the Praetors right now for this turn at least that's not the worst thing uh, I don't think there's that many ways he can outright kill me I guess he could have uh, another 
flesh allergy, but I've only seen one so far. It's not really the sort of card that most people play multiples of, and he's only got two cards in his hand. So, I know I definitely want to block this guy. The question is whether I want to block anything else. Uh, if I block Mersmith, he can deal me three damage. And then he can sack his fumes better to murder the hand of the praetors, which when that dies, obviously the contagious name would also bite the dust. So I think I'm gonna take five and hope he doesn't have something to randomly deal another damage. I've seen Soul Parry from him, I haven't seen uh season initiative, so there's only a certain amount of tricks you can play in the deck and I'm gonna bank on him not having that one it is <laughs> it does leave me in a slightly precarious situation with the um with being on one life and everything He might, it's unlikely, but he, he obviously could have also killed my guy before damage so that his Moriok guy would survive the tangle with the angler. Did something he decided to kill my guy off oh he did have a second flesh allergy that's unfortunate um, there's nothing there is not actually anything I could have done to survive there I don't think if I blocked the the um, the Mersmith that would have died and so would contagious Nim and so would the hand and so would his other guy and then he yeah I just get finished off either way so that's pretty unfortunate the the double flesh allergy gets me again as it, <laughs> as it got me in uh, the recent GP except that time it was sacrificing uh, perilous Mers. Well, there you go. I uh, obviously failed to win this one. I definitely feel like I did not play very well in that last match. Um, I definitely would like people to point out exactly where I was going wrong, even though I'll give it a good go myself, but uh, more perspectives are always welcome, so use that comments box, guys. Pretty please. So, I'll hopefully come back and win the next one. And hopefully there will be a next one and that people will like it. So, see you guys soon.